Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. I wanted to basically give you something that would give you a snapshot of what the current market conditions are in Northwest Indiana. You may be thinking about buying or selling this year and we're gonna look at some numbers that are coming out from January through April and how they compare with numbers uh, in 2016. So I hope that this might help you uh, might educate you a little bit and again help you think about where you might be in the bigger market spectrum So let's check out these charts Okay, guys, so here's the first chart I wanted to look at and this covers seven surrounding counties of Jasper Lake Laporte Newton Porter Pulaski and Stark counties this again comes from NIAR which is an association that I'm a part of and you can learn more about NIAR is basically a general association of realtors in Northwest Indiana. You can visit their website at www.nyar.com. So again, if we look at this chart here, it shows that new listings on the market in January of this year were slightly less, only by a few, but less nonetheless. And, uh, but if you look at closed sales, you see that there were actually 617 closed as opposed to only 590 in January of last year. And then another pretty significant number is if you look right below that at the median sales price, which in January of this year was 149,950 as opposed to only 141,200 in January of last year. And so that just shows that prices are climbing in general year over year in this area, as they are all around the country. Um, if we continue to look down here, I like to, uh, like to look at this number at the bottom of this same column that says inventory of homes for sale. Um, that shows that there is quite a bit, almost 20% less um, homes for sale in January of this year than there were in January of last year. There's only 3,988 as opposed to 4,942 in January of last year. And I must say that that is what I've been hearing from some realtors and just people that I've talked to who are in the market, that there's a general lack of inventory right now, which is another huge factor that's driving up home prices in general. So these middle pieces of information are kind of the same thing as above. Uh, but one thing I'd like to look at is the very far right bar graph here that shows the average sale price. And as you can see in January again of this year, the average sale price was 173,399 as opposed to 163,863. Again, we're talking about $10,000 almost in a gain of average sale price. And if you need to know what the difference between average sale price and median sale price is, you're just talking about average sale price takes the grand sum total of prices of homes in a dollar amount and divides that by the amount of homes and that gives you what the average sale price is and then median sale price says that exactly half of the homes sold in 2017 were less than 149,950 and exactly half of the homes that were sold were sold for above 149,950. So those are both pretty relevant pieces of information that we can kind of use to see that, you know, prices are rising in Northwest Indiana. Um, and then if you look at the very bottom here, you can see that in general, uh, this chart shows from 2008 up until 2017, up until now, a comparison between homes in these counties, these seven counties that we're talking about as a compared to the rest of the state. So just in general, this area has higher home prices than the rest of Indiana has. But what's significant here is to look at just even in the last two years or so, if we look at mid 2015, we can see that we hit the average home price of 140,000 in this area. And already in 2017, so less than two years later, we're already $10,000 above that average price. Okay, so moving on to the February chart, uh, we can see that a lot of the numbers here are significantly lower than they actually were in 2016. So we look at there being less new listings, 
less closed sales, and even the median sales price was lower. Uh, going down to the inventory though, that was lower, and that actually does, again, cause home prices to go up. So it'll be interesting to see, again, moving into these later months of this year, how that inventory number looks. Uh, because again, I've been just hearing a lot about how there's just not a lot of homes available in general in this area. Okay, so now we come to the March 2017 chart, and here's where things get a little bit more interesting even, because now we're talking about a different season change. It's no longer winter, and more people are out and about, thinking about selling, thinking about looking at homes, that sort of thing. So if we start to look at some of these numbers, we see that almost everything is higher again. So we had that down month in February, but now seem, things seem to be coming back up in March. So looking at new listings, we have uh, 1,417 as opposed to 1,415. Not a huge difference, but still a different nonetheless. Um, quite a few though, more closed sales. It's almost 17% uh, up. If you look at that percent change, 16.5. So 888 compared to 762 at this time last year, in March of last year. So if we look at the median sales price though, it's interesting to note that the median sales price is actually lower in March of this year than it was last year. Um, and then again, looking at that inventory, we still have quite a bit less inventory available on the market. So that again is driving prices up. And we start to see that again, looking at the bar graph down here in the middle as the average sale price again is up 163,912 as compared to only 161,812 last year. Okay, so here is the chart for April of this year, and this is actually the latest information that we have so far from NIAR. And if we look at some of these numbers, they're also interesting because we see, again, we have less new listings at 1384 this year, and then we have less closed sales. So, but then if we go down to the median sales price, again, we see a $5,000 price increase in the median sales price this year as compared to last year. Um, and then again, moving down to inventory. So this has been about the same idea on every chart we've looked at. There's a lot less inventory available. So 15-ish percent um, decrease available in April as opposed to April of last year. You can see that again, the sale price is quite a bit higher in April of this year than it was last year at 171,335. And then again, looking at this very bottom piece of this chart, uh, we can see that even more support for prices hovering still in the $150,000 range for median sales price as opposed to 140,000 uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay guys, so there we have it. Those are the numbers for 2017, obviously up through April. And hopefully as Nair keeps putting out more information like that, I can make more videos to help you as you might be making that decision to buy or sell this year. I hope that you took something from it educationally. Obviously I'm not the expert on where markets are gonna be heading in the future, but all we can do is pay attention as close as possible and learn as much as we can from what is happening now as it compares to what's happened in the past. So again, thank you for watching this video and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.